Hello again, let's take a look at a few triangles. Uh, I've got a few problems here, and these are all actually about isosceles triangles. And our given information also explains the word isosceles, is that we have two equal sides. These two are six centimeters each. Now the way this is constructed is those two sides, AB and AC, will maintain length of six, but BC is variable. So we do have some kind of maximum. And over here we can see we're approaching some minimum as well. So let's consider that dynamic construction there to answer the question of which length is not possible for BC. Is it 6, 1, 13, or 0 0.01? 13 is correct. That is the impossible length. And we can demonstrate that here by showing you that 12 is actually the maximum, which leads us to maybe consider a, a compound inequality for this problem. BC has to be less than something, and we just demonstrated, and hopefully you have some intuition behind the fact that 6 plus 6 is 12, that's our segment addition postulate, and BC becomes exactly 12 when we have those points collinear, A, B, and C. This other value which BC must be greater than, we can see on the diagram here when C and B coincide. And that makes a length of zero. So BC has to be greater than zero, less than 12. Uh, there is a formula we can actually take from this, uh, this sort of problem. And uh, we'll also look at this on another video about the triangle inequality theorem. Uh, but the third side has to be greater than zero, which is the difference of AC and AB. And it has to be less than 12, which is the sum of 6 and 6. So how about one more problem? Given an isosceles triangle with two congruent sides, each 9.5, which value is not possible? And our correct answer is, that's right, 19 is not possible. The third side must be less than the sum and greater than the difference of the two given sides. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing.